started off as a very high rank popular street with a lot of homes down there which were for the higher hierarchy as I would call it and it also was a main street for traders to come down because the easiest way into the city from out north way they came in from the north they had to come through down into St Giles and that way in there was also a a leper house on the outskirts of the gate, on the other side of the gate, outside the city, like there was others around the city. But St Giles was the main entrance for all people coming in, even if they were sick. That was an entrance for them to come through, to be treated at the hospital on Bethel Street, what was on Bethel Street, and access to the easiest access to the marketplace at that time. This week's big issue, please, Lord, if you do. Big issue, sir. Have a good day, sir. You lose off, please. My name is Michael Douglas, I'm 31 and I'm a resident in Norwich's YMCA. Um, how long have you been a resident in the YMCA? I've been living in the YMCA since um, 2007, June 2007, so it's about 15 months now. Um, what positive experiences have you had during your I've had plenty of positive experiences living in the YMCA. Uh, my first positive experience was doing the Street Life Soccer course, which was an hour's of football and hours team talk and getting coaching off um, Norwich City Football Club. I've been doing that for a year. Um, Norwich City Football Club have also seen the potential in me and they put me on training courses and I achieved me level one in FA coaching and also I'm going to go on to do me level two in February. I'm also doing um, work experience um, for Norwich City involved in street kids and street football and that's going towards me level two in coaching and then hopefully long term goal is to get paid by Norwich City Football Club. Um, hi my name's uh, David, I'm 25 and I'm a resident of the YMCA. I uh, have been so now for the last 11 months. Um, when I first moved in, I was introduced to Alexis, who then introduced me to Michael Douglas after finding out that was a keen footballer. Hopefully, um, I would like to be kind of an ambassador for the, for the course. Um, I will be um, coming up, visiting ho other hostels and talking to other homeless people um, about the course and hopefully giving them the opportunity to sign up and take part in, this, in the second year and you know hopefully that they can achieve their goals as, as much as I have. There used to be years ago a skating rink down there which is actually where now the fish restaurant is which leads to the back where County, uh, is it Country and Eastern is now, and that was there only for four years. They used the, where the hotel is. That used to be the BT call center, but it also used to be a systems for the electricity company. It was other offices for the electricity company. It's also been other places. The Freemasons was there. That opened in 1772. And they really came back to the building, so they actually left it then came back. And it's been set out to it's at like it's an old street, there's still old shops down there, there's an old bookstore, there's still other little stores that are down there that are old. We've got upper St. Jars where there's a lot of old shops still there that were there then. But things have changed. Under the YMCA, I'm just going to run into the of St. Giles, wait for me.